Um, really what we've been talking about today is, is trying to get some positivity in the industry. And I think for, for young dairy farmers, uh, what they need really is the, uh, the willingness to innovate um, and to accept change, uh, which we've seen really da young dairy farmers are embracing, uh, but also just to keep up to date technically uh, and to make sure that they're, they're seeking out information to help them make positive change. I think the main main points of today are that you know farmers have uh, and young farmers have got to be good communicators and better communicators, um, and they've got to get themselves out in the uh, in the bigger um, area of dairying, speak to as many people as they can, consultants, vets, uh, feed representatives, advisors, etc. Um, if they want opportunities, um, they are there, but they are, they've got to be fought for and they've got to promote themselves to get there. But it, it's a great industry and it, it is certainly going to move forwards and um, if they want to be part of it, you know, they've got to work at it, but it, it will be a very good industry um, to be involved with. I think there's a really important um, and exciting future for young farmers in, in, uh, in the UK. Um, most important messages are um, farmers need to be uh, keep their costs really low. Um, make sure they you know, maximise the use of their milk contracts, um, run a very efficient business, uh, make sure they communicate well uh, you know, with milk buyers, staff and all the associated people, you know, nutritionists, uh, consultants, etc. in order to um, run a very effective uh, business. I believe there is a wonderful future for young people in the industry. Just got to give them an incentive. Food production is going to be a necessity going forward. Just got to make sure that the, that the young next generation are well paid for their efforts.